ha ha ha, Queensman. You don't know what's coming for you, my friends. But today I can't yaw. Yeah, I have a horrible sir. I have a sinus infection. Uh. Pressure on my face is unbearable. My skull is turning to diamonds, much like Bucko drank. Was it his spine? No, his spine turned to sapphire, I remember now. So today's episode might be late. It might also be tomorrow. I don't know how this is going to go. I had about 12 seconds worth of sleep. Pirate madness will ensue. Yesterday, an eldritch entity broke into my stockpile and stole my tasty pirate cocaine. <laughs> There's nothing really that makes it pirate other than the fact it's sat in a pirate base. Our goal is to destroy the Queensman before they destroy us. The only problem with that is they are neutral with us, which means we can only fight the cosmic horrors. And I'll be honest, I don't want to fight the cosmic horrors. I'm tired, boss. So Cranmer lapped in Bucko Drink and his wife are out here to fight the Queensman. We can actually dock there. There you go. Not to destroy their settlement. Not to try and wipe them out. We're here just to get their attention. To let them know we are not the kindly traders that Mr. Cringe has misled them to believe. Um, then I think we're going to have to set up camp. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. We can't even... Uh, Set up camp. I've got to do it there. Okay, change my mind. Sail over there, please, boat. <laughs> Leave the golden shower unattended for a little while, and we send these two off to plunder and destroy. The ship will be fine. Don't panic about the ship. The ship will be okay. I'm not concerned about Buckham and Sire taking on an outpost of Queensman. I'm concerned about this circus over here trying to take on nine cosmic horrors. Well, the defense is looking. They're not. Why not? What? We're out of Viper Metal. We had thousands of plasteel. Where did it all go? Probably into armor for my people. That's a very fair point. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't like you. <laughs> no, I don't like you. Whoever made that mod is sick. And they deserve prison time. They deserve prison time for that. Ah, oh, they're here to take me away. Um, slight oversight. It turns out making a man out of solid gold means that he's quite heavy and can't, can't walk. That's because they're wearing a lot of heavy gear, actually. In fact, just their armor. They don't have anything else. They've got, they've got some selves and some hammocks. That makes them too heavy. Significantly too heavy. Yep, even just sending Bucko and Sire with absolutely nothing means that they're too heavy to walk. <laughs> Why does stuffing a man with solid gold cause this problem? Ah, and everything is fixed. I did the mod that takes into account the fact that, you know, maybe they're robotic. Maybe they have enormous bionic limbs that I've been saving up for the entire series. One of them carries around a golden anchor. So, don't you do it. Don't you do it. We need unity right now. The captain's gone away for a day and everything's falling apart. Can you break this up? Uh, can you break this up at all? He will not. He will not break this up. They've just got to get it out of their systems pirate style. Please, no limbs. No limbs ripped off. Are all our, are all our legs intact? Dare I ask? Well, I added to the list. I'm not really sure where to put the list. Like, like that. Uh... Ah, you can put it right there. That's fine. So I added to the list, uh, Cringe's golden rod, right? So that he could, he could hit stuff a little more effectively. What if instead we build it out of silver? It's got Bucko's approval because Bucko knows you got to spend money to make money, okay? I'm trying to think of like a Mr. Cringy weapon. Like a, uh, like a Dragoon Saber, Curacy Sword. They're all good. Conversion stuff, I feel like, is the most appropriate. We make it out of silver and then we just reinforce it over and over and over and over. Over and over. 72,000 silver condensed into one shiny rod. Uh, Admiral Bucko's not going to be upset about that. It's still Bucko's property. It's still the same amount of silver just being put to work to try and stop these Cosmic Horrors and Queensmen taking it all away from him. Silver Harpoon? I suppose that's a bit more piratey. I really don't know what to go for. Silver Throwing Rocks? <laughs> stick, to your, stick to your guns. Conversion Staff. Then we're going to have a big silvery pirate flag we'd beat all our enemies with. This is beautiful. I did say gold because we're spending all the gold on the cataphract armor for Bucko. So that is probably not the best thing to capitalize on. No pun intended. Hey, uh, eat more. If you could, my friend. If you could eat more silver into the furnace, that would be lovely. I'd love to see masterwork quality at the very least. But that's okay. These things happen. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, but there's no quality. Oh, well, that's good. That's good. That's okay. It's not good. We actually can't increase the damage reinforcing the silver staff. It doesn't have a stat for it. Okay. What if we just give him like our fucking cutlass or something, huh? What if we just give him like a cutlass or a saber or something that looks kind of piratey? Dragoon saber's fun. I think we make saber after saber after saber until we get one that's like excellent quality, maybe masterwork. Obviously, that would be legendary when you downshift the quality to take into account the fact that pirates are shitty at crafting. We smelt down all the extra ones we make into that one and give Mr. Cringe a fighting chance. Speaking of a fighting chance, let's go get their attention. We're not necessarily here to win. If we can, great. That's a nice victory. We just need to let them know that we mean business. We can put Bucko like... Somewhere along this route, I think that sets up a nice firing gallery. I'm not expecting us to win. I would love it if we did, but I'm not expecting it'll happen. Can we put you, like, 
Bruh. Bro, we weren't ready. Bucko! We weren't ready! Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, you guess we're in it now. Go hide behind that tree. Sire, stay back slightly. Um, let's go fire off a uh, an aid fighting. Yes. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fire now. Beautiful. And then fire there. Oh yes. Oh! <laughs> Yar! Okay. Um, maybe just fire there. I'm sure you hit something. Oh, God. They are spreading out a little bit already. Don't like that. Don't like that. Great. Love to see that, though. That was a great shot. Let's fire, like, um, fire, like, slightly there. Lead the shot. Lead the shot, bucko. Go. Okay. Well, we hit one. It wasn't fantastic. Let me shoot that one. Probably hit both. Boom. And then this is where Sire comes forward and does a few executions. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's fire into that group. Realistical. That's, that's why I like here, I suppose. That was fine. Good shot. Amazing. Great work. Great work. Great work. Fire there. Okay, you're down. Let's just go ahead and kill you. Let's just go ahead and finish you off. Don't want people getting up here. Maybe we take out the ones that, that, are, that are slightly closer. I'm a little bit concerned about those cataphracts. A little bit concerned about those cataphracts. Oh my god. Okay, Bucko, you need to you need to sort this shit out, friend. Oh! Jesus Christ. Okay, then. That was almost an Admiral Fucko. Um, come back. Pull back. Don't you do it. They've not Bucko down. Oh my god, they hit him with a bloody Zeus hammer. That was the worst thing they could have hit him with. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Get him over there. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him though. Nice. Good work. Good work. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Pull back. We got. We got to bring them to you. You got to get them to fight you on your terms. We got a cataphract coming up. Okay. Here we go. Just, just, just be brave. Be brave. Get him. Fuck him up. This is gonna work. This is gonna work. You need to have faith. Yes. You will never get this. Well, if they didn't notice us before, they sure as hell noticed us now, huh? Finish that one off. Can I just kill that one on the floor? Have you got anything useful? Oh, I don't even give a shit. I don't want Queensman colors. Die. Boil and die. Is Bucko okay? He's just got mind shot, right? Like, he's not... Yeah, he's in absolutely no danger at all. He's just going to be stunned for a few hours. Oh. My God. I can't believe that worked. Oh, my rum. Oh, my rum distillery. Okay. Um, where's Yeti? Yeti, I'm just going to, like, hide you over there. Where's Catfish Chef? Catfish Chef, 360 walk away, please. The rest of them... I don't know where we're going to fight them. I think we need to fight them, like, on this long path. My God, do we need some turrets. My God, do we need some turrets. You're hiding, you're hiding. That's fine. How's everyone else doing? They're all over on this side of the map, which is quite fortunate. Oh, my God. They're so quick! Salty's there. Honestly, just back off a second. I, I, well, like, what, 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 what do I do? What do I do? How do we, how do we, how do we deal with such reckless hate, huh? Execute that. Butch, execute this one. Cringe, execute this one. But anyone we got Cringe's magic power. Bong Water is already down. Tide Bubble is also getting mangled. Butch failed the execution. This is so silly. This is so silly. This is so silly. Please help me. Please help me. Oh, God, they're so strong. They are psychically insensitive. Okay, um... Okay, uh, that makes a harder battle even harder. Um, come up here. Just don't let them, don't let them chase you, don't let them chase you, don't let them chase you. Can we kill this one, please? Thank you. Are these all dead? That's dead, that's dead, that's dead. Crewmate needs rescue. Yes, I'm on it, I'm on it, okay? Bongwater, how you doing? What happened? You're, you're fine. They just do, they do such an insane amount of damage per hit. We put them on the other side of the fences. That at least gives us a, a, a minor, minor bit of cover. I can't really do much else. We've got three there coming up. If, if only three come up, that's fine. We can manage that. The fact that they've all spread out across the base and gone for key targets like random bits of furniture is, is really quite helpful. Like you smashing up my plant pots. You may have saved the day doing that. They've lit fire to my bees and they're attacking my monkey. Honestly, that's okay. That's okay. You can go for my monkey. Okay, we are going to have to get their attention though because they're going to burn the whole base down. Oh, God. Um... Maybe Tide Bubble, because you've got the jetpack, can, like, get their attention, and then, then they haven't lit fire. They've lit fire to the tavern. They've lit fire to the fucking tavern. Okay, here we go. That's what we're after. That's what we're after. That's what we're after. Okay, light them up. 
Light him up. Please kill something. Oh, <laughs> none of those shots hit. Fuck me, Captain Helix. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Thank you, Butch. Thank you, Butch. Go, go, go. Nice. Okay, two more down, in theory. No, okay, you fucked that up. Well done. Brilliant. Well done, eat more. Well done, eat more. Go. Get out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. Someone's gonna die. Someone's gonna die. Get out the way. Okay. Fire foam pop has gone off, which is potentially a good thing. How are we looking? Okay, so the, the distillery is no longer on fire. The tavern is. It's going for my big TV. I think at this stage, we move the whole squad down a little, something like that. And we get the melee characters all... Let's, let's group those up a little bit on the bar, make this a little more manageable. All of you lot can just start beating the shit out of that, if that's okay. Thank you, thank you. Watch out for friendly fire a little bit. Just watch out for friendly fire. Watch out for friendly fire. Helix, seriously pick up any other gun. For fuck's sake. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. That's really that's really quite 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 kind of you. Um, I feel like a lot of the base is gonna burn out unless we move slightly faster here. Let's see if we can kill the one in the distillery. Oh my grog! He's getting us where it hurts. Right in the barrels. Fuck it up. Cringe. Don't stand for this. Okay, uh, should we now swap over to extinguishing some fires? How are we looking on that front? Fire growth rate, 101%. Increased burn rate, 9%. Oh, God. Oh, God. Cringe! You fucking idiot! Cringe is gonna die. Cringe is gonna die. Stop him, stop him, stop him! My boy! <laughs> I don't want him to die this soon! Oh, I hate star vampires. I hate star vampires. Pirates versus horrors from the deep. This is so appropriate, but fuck me. This is ridiculous. They're so strong. They're so strong. Just come in here. Let's like line up and shoot the damn thing. Shoot the damn thing. It hasn't taken any damage yet, which I'm a little concerned about. I think we, we, unless we can control this quickly, we could be in a lot of trouble. Hold on. We are just the person for the job. Go outside, call the rain. Otherwise that fire is going to spread to the docks. We're going to lose every boat. We're going to lose every building on the waterfront. This is, this is already too far. This is already too far. This is already too far. Tide bubble. It's time to prove how useful you are to this colony. Call the rain. Call the rain, call the rain. Get in there. Smash the vampire. Smash the vampire. Smash the vampire. Boom. Nice. Knock it down. Injured, injured. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Don't you kill Salsi. The fact that it can do, like, like half your health damage in a single hit is terrifying. <laughs> um, I'll take the Plasteel. Thank you. I'll take the Plasteel. And now everybody's on uh, big fighting, firefighting moments. Go, 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 go. Sort that out. Uh, how is... Oh, who's my uh, tide bubble? God, this is fried my brain. Okay, where's the rain, though? Where's the rain, though? Shower and mist. I don't know if that's gonna be enough to take out that fucking inferno over there, but at least it'll stop it spreading from outside. Okay. What a mess. News. There was nothing at the camp worth losing. Like, actually nothing at all. So we're just going to bring Sire and Bucko back. It was a bunch of empty buildings, so I'm not that concerned. They're going to come back urgently. That wasn't too terrible. Wow, we didn't really lose as much as I thought. I saw that many Infernos, and I thought we were done for. My Am Brandy. You know what? Forget about the Am Brandy. I hate this game. What are you... Four... Gra Wait, four Grey Deep ones? Those are way easier than these, right? If I remember correctly... When is the Queen's men gonna turn up? I do not wish to fight any more horrors from the depths, mother. I am done with them now. Good lord, we might need a bigger hospital. Oh, my monkey died. Well, that's okay. Monkey versus Eldritch Entity, I think I can understand that death. I think I think that's a very acceptable death. Dr. Yeti, if you would. Actually, Dr. Yeti, that wasn't terrible. You got a lot of people to tend to here. Oh, boy, arrived at caravan. Oh, it's Bucko inside. Jesus Christ, I wonder what the hell was going on then. <gasps> Bucko's ice cream truck. <laughs> Could you imagine if you leave it a solid gold ship and come back in an ice cream truck? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, is it not another avenue of investment? And Mr. Cringe knows ice cream inside and out. It's a little, it's a little, it's a little callback for you there. You can enjoy that. You think I forget these things? I never forget these things. No turrets at this point. Please, don't get distracted with the reinforcement. Just put fucking turrets down everywhere. Where have I got turrets that I can repurpose? We've got like three in the prison. Let's take those out of there. And let's put them to good use, for Christ's sake. We've, we've got five in the prison. We've got more turrets in the prison than anywhere else valuable. Let's move those out, and we'll turn this into a proper a proper fighting area. Look at this. What a day to be Yeti, my friend. Thank you. Exponential increase in our turrets defending the base. <laughs> it's one. I suppose it's an infinite increase. Might be to a plastic from that last raid. Well, that explains it. Thank you. Boom. There you go. Star vampires, eat shit. Another sensible precaution here might be building some gates, gates, gates. Hello, where are my gates? Hello. Uh, we'll build some big gates across here as well. 
That way, if they were to land there again, it would give Butch or whoever time to run fast. Very so terribly fast. Do we maybe want to cordon off a bit more of this? Like, put another one across Bucko's entrance there? We're pirates. We're supposed to be free and flowing, like the ocean itself. But maybe not into the... Right now, we're just flowing into the mouths of enormous eldritch entities. I can't believe how difficult this is already. I feel like we've only just bloody started. Come on, eat more. Come on. Come on. Let's see something good here. Oh, God. Good quality. Okay, no, I, okay, no let's see something masterwork. Let's see something legendary, eat more. Uh, you know what? Good enough. You know what? Good enough. Good enough. I'll take it. Obviously, it gets downgraded because the Empire is a terrible crafters. Master Cringe, that'll do. It's either that or we've got to wait and hit legendary. And the chance of that happening is so, so unlikely. Let's send it. My boy, where are you? Sleeping? Stop fucking sleeping. You think the horrors from the depths are going to be sleeping, huh? Big man. What does it say? 13,000. Requires 160. We've got 65,000. I guess maybe it's just too far away. Okay, so we'll spend these uh, first and foremost, and we will go for melee damage multipliers, and we'll just stack those up like crazy, I think. 0.25, just go full send. Just go like full send with it. Oh, go on then. Okay, let's see what. Let's see how we end up. Come on. Does it, oh, does it not calculate it dynamically? Maybe if I close it and reopen it, it will show it. Bloody hell, I hope so. Reinforce. 10.27, it is better. Slightly better. But bear in mind, we've got a lot of silver. I can, oh, they're landing on Bucko's house. Why are you so cruel? Why are you so cruel? Why do these cosmic horrors have transport pods? I've got a lot of questions. Why you built that fucking gun fast, eh? Jesus, good work. I put one there. I put one somewhere amid these trees. Okay, that one's not connected up to power. We've got one there that's planned. I need to get a better gun for Captain Helix. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh my god. What's wrong with you? Let's take the fight to them. This is ridiculous. This is nonsensical. Okay, Bucko. I'm sorry you have to do this, my friend. We'll build you a better mansion. Kill them dead. Kill them dead, for God's sake. Blow them to smithereens. That's what we like to see. Thank you, Bucko. Fuck him up. Just absolutely fuck him up. Sire, do it for your royal poster bed that's been destroyed. Do it for the treasure that you've lost. Get him. Fucking kill him dead. Yemor, get over here. These are the ones that drive you mad if you observe them, right? Well, that's okay. You'll manage. Couldn't be any worse. I mean, Bucko's observed way worse watching his treasure be destroyed. Please be careful with that. Ah, uh, please be careful. Just, just be careful. Just be careful in general. Oh, Dale, you can press the ignore button. I know I can press the ignore button. You think Bucko's gonna stand down? Ridiculous. Yes. Ooh, archaic gene packs. <gasps> Devil fruits. Where? Where are they landing? Devil fruits. Show me them. <laughs> nice. Do we have the bucko fruit here? Elongated fingers, floppy ears, mini horns, alcohol impervious, naturalist, ageless, and attractive. The immortal bucko. The immortal bucko drink. Oh my god, maybe this is the fruit that we needed. It's why it's already ageless. She's a robot. Oh, oh, and now it's the Queensman. Yes! Seven captains, three lieutenant colonels, three troopers, eight majors, two colonels. I don't know how to interpret that information. I think it's time. The ageless Bucko drink. Been looking for a fruit for him for so long, and this is it. Immortality for a golden pirate king. He can be golden forever. I'm, I'm happy with that. And, of course, he's so sexy, but he already was because he's solid gold. I'd say that's worth trading your bedroom for. Oh, I'm happy with that. That was, that was a great outcome. I think that's absolutely a fruit worthy of Bucko. Honestly, like, ageless or unkillable... Probably unkillable would have been better, of course, but that's that's okay. Alcohol and purpose. How dare you? That is an affront to pirate nation. Hello? Bucko, what's going on down here, huh? Two of them got back up. Running away. They're running away from the immortal golden Bucko. Reinforce. Reinforce for Mr. Cringe. Go. Oh, it's so slow. Oh, it's so slow now. Oh, Jesus. Oh, we're running at 64 TPS. I think I figured out why it's so slow. 84% <laughs> penetration. My god. Send it. Send it. I want Mr. Cringe to cut a swath through cataphracts. Speaking of Mr. Cringe, somebody has to go out here and buy me some more uh, plasteel. Anything, really, because we are suffering. Right, what's going on here? Why is this so slow? Which one of you is bogged out? It's Sire. She's trying to chop down trees that she's not actually stood next to. You, are you good? I think our software's <laughs> bugging out. <laughs> Failure rate 8%. There is a, uh, so if we hit that 8% failure rate, it's a 59% chance nothing will happen, a 25% chance of some minor damage, 5% chance of an explosion, 1% chance of the item being 
destroyed. So, let's be careful here. We can't just go full send. That is 111% melee armor penetration. I mean, we fucking can go full send. I make the rules. Go full send. Go full send. Oh, that's cool. You can crank the processing time right up and it lowers the failure rate. So if I go up to like 10 times, so it'll take 10 times as long to process, but the failure rate drops to below 1%. Could you do the opposite? Because I'm a very impatient person. Can I say do it faster? Uh, oh, no, you can't. Okay, fair enough. Here's what I'll do then. I'll just crank the process time so that we're always... I would say I would say that's fine. Like around 3% seems good. That seems not much of a gamble. Then I'll just keep queuing up a shitload of damage multipliers and we'll just let it cook. Literally, we'll just let it cook. Gift from the wealthy landowners. Hello. 55 plus deal. Oh, you bloody legends. Thank you for that. It's probably because they know once we've wiped out the queens when they're free to do all the trading and take control of all the all the markets, all the businesses. So we're doing them a massive favor. Maybe oh, well, maybe there are enemies too. We'll tolerate them for now. Just you wait until I've built some turrets. You people are so doomed. Are they all landing there? Okay. Well, I could potentially do something with that. Hold on a second. Where's Bucko? He's right around the corner. We could do something with this. We can do something with this. Yes. Careful. Careful. Tease it. Tease it. Fire. Die. Go! <laughs> die. Boil and die, Queensman. Oh, these shots. Right into the meat grinder. You actual fools. You actual fools. Let's go fire in frenzy. Uh, you are still on cooldown even now. My God. Shouldn't be ah, so surprised, I guess. Uh, Bucko, fire a shot forward, please. That's a lot of people coming closer. Bucko decided to do what they can and leave. I would like to see you try. God, I would like to see you try. Get out of this front door. Try it. Where are they going to try and escape to? Are they going to walk all the way up and around? I don't even know how they're going to try and escape from that. <laughs> what a mess. What a mess, but it was worth it. Where are they going? Where are they going? What have they stolen? You've stolen a vanometric power cell. They've stolen corn. You've stolen that old biocoded cutlass we had. Devil Strand? Jade? Meals? What kind of robbery was... Oh! <gasps> What happened there? Did you see that? Did they steal one of my ships? What the fuck? I'm not going mad. That You saw that, right? I'm not going mad. What the hell happened there? Look at this heist they've tried to do. Look at this goddamn heist. They're running all the way around the edge of the map to try and steal some corn. You will not take that corn. On principle, that's my corn. You will never get this. You will never get this. Boom. One more. But, but uh, Bucko, you gotta set a precedent here. No mercy. No escape. No survivors. No survivors. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Siobhan, put those hobs down. You're not taking them. No respect for the Queensman. No respect whatsoever. Come on. No, they, they're actually gonna get away with corn. My most closely guarded secret. You know what? We gave it a good go, though. We tried. We really did try. And I think we did a great job of it, too. Oh, you know what? I don't think that would... Oh, well done. Out of all of those, one managed to make off with 75 corn. I'll take that. I think I'm all right with it. All that's standing between us and victory is one tiny Imperial grenade here. Sire, you can have you can have this. I'll let you have this. That's on you, my friend. Boom. Is that enough? Oh, we got we to gotta, we gotta kill him? How's that? Are we good? We're still not good. Oh, is it Appa? Oh, Appa's still up and walking around. Yep, yep, this, you big bitch. Okay. Now what? We good? <laughs> I wonder if that one that escaped us uh, is ruined everything. Look at the damage Bucko did to my lovely pier. I forgot how much of this is reclaimed ocean. You need to be more careful with that. You're going to sink the whole base. Ah, oh, there we go. They must have finally bled out. Ah, uh, give me this one. Normal reward. Gene packs. Whoa, no way. Hold on. As in, like, more devil fruit. Show me, show me, show me. Hello. Ah, uh, unattractive. Poor digging. Unstoppable. Dark vision. Wow, you you shouldn't have. We're here to extort our taxes. Thank you very much. I think the cringe stick is probably good at this point. I haven't checked it. It's just finished its last cycle. We are looking at 18.67 melee damage per second and 185 melee armor. And all it cost us was 20,000 silver. <laughs> really, though, when you think about it, that's not that badly balanced. Would I pay 20,000 silver in the base game for a weapon that does this? Honestly, yeah. Probably would. There you go, my blessed pokey boy. Enjoy. You be careful with that. You drop it. No, careful. You drop that and it's going to go right through the deck. Now for the real star of the show, of course. The real, the real man with meat. Bucko drink himself. 
Where are we? Oh, God. 804 requires 616. Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, range cooldown it is then. You can straight up increase weapon range. Oh, my God. What happened to that steel I just bought? I just bought a shitload. Oh, it's, it's, in, the, it's in the water. Uh, like peg leg? Metal. There it is. Range cooldown plus 24%. Oh, my God. That was a good get. Let's go uh, range cooldown. Let's just keep cranking that until we can get it rapid fire. Then we stretch out the range massively. Maybe I should have saved some of this steel to rebuild my entire base. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, no, that would have been a fair point. Okay, let's, let's focus on <laughs> maybe getting the furnace set up again. There you go. Don't get me wrong. The captain's cannon is, of course, the only investment we should be worried about, but it's a necessary evil. Well, that's it. It's done again. We actually had a couple of failures. Look, these were with um, Cringer's sword, but we had one with Bucko's cannon as well. That sucks because this is expensive and we have no infinite resourcing. Question is, does it look any faster? Is that fast enough to kill the Queensman? We can almost fire the second shot before the first shot's landed. It's close. There's probably better ways to invest in Bucko right now, like an ammo pack or something like that would probably do better. Shit, what's the pirate speak for machining table? Mechanical table? It's got to be that. We haven't even rebuilt from the last one. Will you people piss off? Why would Winston Waves do this? Actually, this is like the perfect raid for a nice change. Okay, this is this is just a flex now. Where are they going? Are they going to walk around? Don't do that. Bucko, just send them. Just send them straight to straight to hell. Fucking touch that. Don't touch that. Oh, look, they're having some sort of speech. They're having some sort of, uh, some sort of speech for morale. Speech these nuts. Kapow. Bucko, you missed every single person. Look at how many are bundled up there. My guy. Thank you. We finally hit something. All we need is just one good shot. Like one good shot right down the middle. Try like there. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, oh my boy. Oh, it's a goddamn massacre. <laughs> oh, my God. What do you mean they're fleeing? It's wave based survival. You can't fucking flee. I decide who flees. I love that there's absolutely no middle ground. We get we get annihilated. Half our people go down, the base burns down, or we wipe them all out and Bucko gets what? A, a slight bruise. It's a thing of beauty. Really is a thing of beauty. Good lord, they took a pounding, didn't they? Hello! Um, I don't need pawns. We'll take the silver, thank you. We'll take the cash. Cold, hard cash. That explains it. Where is all this money coming from? It's got to be the wealthy landowners. Because they want these people wiped out. The queen's been gone. They take control of the market. It makes perfect sense. What are you doing? Go back to work. 29 enemies coming in. We've got the turrets. We've got the defenders. I mean, when we send off Bucko, is this going to be a problem? Yeah. Yeah, probably. But I think we're ready now. I think the base is ready. I think our people are ready. Master Cringe is equipped. We've actually got a shitload of turrets now. Not just centralized down there, but I mean like all over the base. We've got turrets everywhere. My plan was to throw a couple more up here, which we should be able to afford. Um, what about like the... Damn, we've actually got enough for that. Oh, that's kind of cool, isn't it? <laughs> that's kind of cool. Okay, we'll throw a couple of those down. Ammo pack for Bucko Drink. Okay, he loses his shield belt, which, to be fair, has done really good work. I mean, especially during that last raid, but... Okay. Oh. Oh, shit, my dream has come true. He's almost got one ready to fire before the other one hits the ground. Can we reinforce the ammo pack? Oh, God. I feel like I've done this before, but you know what? We'll, we'll try it. Oh, and because it's made of Devil Strand, we've grown a shitload of Devil Strand. Oh, <laughs> no way. Oh, God. Sadly, the reinforcement didn't actually work, but you know what? I think we can deal with it. I think I think we'll be fine. We're going to head over right to the very tip of the map, and we are going to hit New New York. We're going to hit the hardest to reach first, and then we're going to do 360 and walk away if things get a little spicy at home. But with this squad, I think we'll manage. I think we'll, I think we'll pull by. And tomorrow, I think it all ends. Well, we haven't really got a choice. If it goes any longer than tomorrow, I think we're dead as dicks. It's already hard enough. <laughs> no more, thank you. It's been nice having a playthrough where the focus has just been a bit more of a bit more of a chill challenge where converting is the main issue and obviously building up the wealth and, and doing that instead of nonstop combat. That can get a little dull after a while. Certainly making up for it today after all of those horrendous, horrendous star vampires. I've got a plan for next series. I'm not sure. How it's going to work out or what sort of uh, what sort of playthrough it's going to end up being. What I do know is it's going to be a return to a classic. Something I haven't played for a long, long, long time. And it's it's been very highly requested. So hopefully it will be a nice change of pace. It will be a nice refresher. Thank you 
of course, to the executive producer patrons. Apologies for the lower energy today. I am somewhat unwell, but things will be things will be hopefully back to normal very soon. Thank you to uh, Christian Kopis, Adram, Blood Snakes, Chaos, Sleepy257, Star69, Cryon, Q, Butch Werewolf, Necrophil, and Captain Elk, Dartney, Zero's Legion, Peter Sarossi, Gazoose, Killer Clown, Crow Skull, Jai, Gamerman7799, Opti, Beep Boop, Thorius, Lost, Turtle, Meepsical, Drea on Zangle, and Rambler Uno for their support of the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching a little Rim Rim. Uh, I'm excited for this classic series. I won't say too much, but it's a mod that I said I wouldn't play again, but I might be willing to give it another go. I need to do a lot of testing on it and basically see how things fall and then we'll we'll go from there. So don't get your hopes up too much. I'm sure that's, that's already given a massive clue to a lot of people, but it's... um. Yeah, I need to do some testing and just sort of see how it performs before I commit to it. Either way, it's going to be a very similar theme, so stay tuned. Thank you to Pimpek, Pumbly, Militant Millennial, Red Nebula, Blind Surgeon, Jerick, Red Racer, B18, Juice Tin, Textrian, Elliot Sandage, Ace of Hearts, Blemished Halo, Ronildo, Doogie Monster, Lockett217, and Armor. Goodbye.